Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the Sandwich Book of 1900, we're going to be making the cheese sandwich. All right, to make our cheese sandwich, we naturally enough start off with a hard-boiled egg yolk that we rub to a paste. Now we slowly add in, with a fork, oil. Now we add in mustard, didn't say how much. Cayenne pepper, didn't say how much. And vinegar, did say how much. Now we add grated cheese. I would also said to add in salt, didn't say how much. Now we put that onto a bread. Okay, let's give this cheese sandwich a go. So I'm getting a little bit of a kick from the vinegar, a little bite, and plays off the richness of the eggs and the cheese. Um, not really tasting the mustard or the cayenne, but I mean, it's not bad. I do want to plus it up. I'm going to add some uh, chopped up nasturtium leaves, bring a little uh, fresh vegetal flavor and a little peppery bite. Okay, let's give this cheese sandwich plussed up a little chopped up nasturtium leaves. A go. That is nice. You get a little peppery bite, a little bit of vegetal flavor, contrasting with the, the brightness of the vinegar and the richness of the egg and the cheese. It's not bad. Bet you were thinking I was gonna do the grilled cheese treatment, right? I was going to originally, but kinda wanted to switch it up because I just did that not too long ago. Um, the original cheese sandwich, it feels like this is either a tea sandwich or it's a sandwich that's eaten as a course among many courses. It's not a filling sandwich. It's not something you're gonna put in your work pail and go to the, the job site with. Um, and as that kind of a sandwich, I'd probably give it about a five. It was a tangy, rich cheese spread. Plus up with the nasturtium leaves, you get a little pepperiness, a little vegetal flavor. Um, I'd probably give that about a six. I'm definitely gonna finish that. Probably not gonna make it again. All right, see you tomorrow.